I surrender all to you. Everything I give. Everything I give to you. Withholding, withholding nothing, mighty God. Withholding nothing, withholding, withholding nothing. Withholding nothing, I surrender all. I surrender all to you. Everything I give, everything I give to you. Withholding, withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. With all the nothing, give myself, I give myself away. Come on and give yourself to him this morning. He's got a plan. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. He's a mighty God, you know. I give myself away so you can use me I give myself away I love you with all my heart Lord I give myself away so you can use me I give myself away come on sing it to him this morning I give myself away so you we say yes come on and we say yes tell the lord yes this morning yes tell him yes yes lord yes and we say yes tell him yes 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 lord Tell the Lord yes, and we say yes. We say yes to you, Jesus. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes, Lord. And we say yes. It's here, the book we've been waiting for. Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us. A complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God, which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God, and provide answers to questions like how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. And discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today, available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here. Pastor Sean Pinner invites you to two special meetings at Farmington, New Mexico. Get ready to be empowered with the preaching of the gospel, uplifted with anointed worship, and ushered into the presence of God. Be impacted with the life-changing manifestation of the Holy Spirit, and witness the miraculous healing power of God. God's getting you ready to show you a side of Himself that you have never seen before. Experience the ministry of Pastor Sean Pinner at the Journey Church, February 9, 2020, at 10 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. For more information, call 505-320-9190. Come expecting to receive your miracle. See you there. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift your people up before you on this morning. And as I share my personal testimony about the plan of God, 
minister to your people, encourage them. Let them know it's all about what you want to do, God. And it's up to us to say yes to your will, yes to your way. Come on, just open your mouth and say it with me right here. Say, Lord, we say yes, not our will, but let your will be done. Tell him yes, yes, Lord, yes. Tell him yes, and we say yes, mighty God you are. Yes, yes, Lord, yes. And we say yes, mighty God you are. Yes, yes, Lord. Oh, praise God, praise God. Good morning to you, my precious brothers and sisters in God. I just want to go a little deeper into my own personal testimony about the plan of God and on yesterday. You heard me talk about when I, when I surrendered my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, I fully surrendered, got rid of all my filthy music. I, I bag all that stuff up. I, I did, I, I'm sorry, I just didn't need someone to preach to me and tell me, I don't, I, I'm not supposed to be listening to that garbage or, or watching filth on television. The Holy Ghost convicted me. I just knew better. I just got rid of all that garbage. And then, of course, my friend Heston Dane, he challenged me. He said, look, you got to go tell all your gangster friends you, you are done. Tell them you, 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 you're serving the Lord from here on. I thought, well, you know what? I'm not a half. I'm not a halfway guy. It's either all the way in or all the way out. It's either black or white. Amen. I mean, if you look at me and my wife, you can figure that out, right? <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. But listen, for real, the way the, that's just the way I operate is either all or nothing. So I decided. Well, I'm going to have to go meet up with my old friends later and tell them I'm out. I'm done with this lifestyle. I'm not going to be hanging out. You know, I went and met with some of my gangster buddies and I said look man I got saved well when I told them I got saved they thought it was a joke they all bust out laughing at me they said yeah right you know and uh, so so they laughed some of them cussed me out they thought man you 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 you're just tripping well I said well, well you know and I told them I said well, we gonna see I'm gonna prove it to you they said yeah prove it so but I was done with them I mean I I, I said it I was done and my friend Heston Dean he was proud of me and so let's go a little deeper here. So I got saved in 1993, January the 3rd. And the Holy Ghost developed a passion in me for the Word of God. I just had this, j just a hunger in me to read my Bible and to begin to pray. No one had to tell me to pray. No one had to tell me I need to read my Bible. Man, look, when you get saved and get hungry for God, you are going to find out. You will dig and tell you find answers. You will go after God with everything in you. I was so hungry, I would, I would spend hours hours upon hours reading my Bible. My mom, who was praying for me to get saved, would come and check on me at four in the morning. She said, boy, I noticed your light was on all night. She said, were you reading your Bible all night, son? I'm like, yep, I can't get enough. My mom said, look, son, you're you going to need to rest, you know. I mean, she's being a good parent, right? But I, I just couldn't get enough of the Bible. I was just reading from one book to the next, just consuming the Word, studying the Word, meditating the Word. And I automatically started getting up early in the morning to read my Bible and pray, to seek God. I was just hungry for God. I, I, had, I, had, my fill, I had my full of the world. I was done with it. And now I was going after God with everything in me. Now, any of you from in the Bahamas there back in my day, you all would know my pastor, Reverend Lawrence G. Pinder, my dad's first cousin. He was the senior pastor of the church at that time, Emmanuel Baptist. And the Holy Ghost, he was a highly anointed man. That man can preach the roof off. He, he was anointed by the Holy Ghost. I'm talking about the fire God he used to fall when he opened his mouth and preached the gospel. Thank God for men of God who sought God. So the Holy Ghost began to deal with my pastor about the call of God on my life. And my pastor, he, he came over to us one day, me and him met and sat and talked and he said he said look son he said God's been speaking to me about you 
Thank God. You see that? A pastor who hears from God. We all need one of those in our lives. My pastor said, God spoke to me in the night and told me to tell you. He have a great plan for your life. And that even though you may not fully understand everything now, God want me to tell you he will begin to reveal his plan to you and he will help you understand exactly what it is that he has called you to do. And when my pastor told me that, I said, Pastor, I receive it because God is certainly dealing with me. He said, I will continue to pray for you. I'll continue to encourage you. I'll continue to lift you up before God. But he said, you just keep doing what you're doing. He said, you go after God with everything you got in you. I told my pastor, I said, I will do that. Now, my pastor is deceased now. I'm telling you, he, he, he's gone on to be with the Lord several years ago. But uh, his prophetic words over my life. Man, I feel the anointing. God have mercy here. Whew. He was a precious man of God. I'm sorry, I just... He was a precious man of God. Thank God for men of God like that. You gotta value the men of God in your life. Value the people around you that, that's pouring the word of God into your life don't take them for granted they're not always going to be here my pastor is not here today but god really used him in my life to encourage me preach the fire down he would anoint us with oil preaching the word of god preaching the word of God. My pastor always said, man, I wish I had the opportunity to go to Bible college, but that was not God's plan for my pastor, that he had a prayer life and he preached a fire down. The Holy Ghost would speak to him. He would have visions and dreams and they would come to pass. My pastor was also a prophet, really. So he prophesied to me that God had a plan for my life and I was so taken up with it and I just began to have as I began to pray and seek God I just had a burning desire in me a burning I just knew God called me to preach I just knew God called me I just couldn't get away from it I was consumed I would just see myself preaching I, I just was it was burning in me and of course I had a vision Jesus appeared to me I was in a the building there were thousands of people there and Jesus said, teach, and then preach, and he vanished. And I began to pursue that call by reading my Bible and studying my Bible. And later into 1993, my, my brother, <laughs> he's saved now. <laughs> my brother told me, my brother, his name is Stacy, my brother. He said, look, he said, man, you know our cousin, Carolyn Cooper, that, you know, she was an evangelist then. She's an apostle now, but back then, you know, we were cousins. So she was our first cousin, my dad's niece. My brother said, man, do you realize she's on fire? He said, God's using her mightily, man. I said, Carolyn is preaching the gospel. She's an evangelist. My brother said, yes, man. He said, man, she's going to be at the Baptist church th th this week. He said, you should go listen to her. Man, and I went. <laughs> I sat in that service. An evangelist, she was an evangelist at the time. So back then, evangelist Carolyn Cooper, she preached, my God, the fire of God fell in that church. She was prophesying people falling out under the power of God. And when I saw the fire of God on evangelist Carolyn Cooper at that time, everything in me came alive. I was, I was drawn. I was just drawn to her ministry. I couldn't explain it and I'm, I'm using these terms to help you understand how God deals with you so I was I just had a magnetic pull I was attracted to her ministry thank God she's my first cousin so no one could think nothing crazy amen and so I, I started pursuing her ministry everywhere she would be going to preach I would be there and I would carry water for her I would carry orange juice until I became her armor bearer I wasn't I wasn't chalky in for position man I ain't got time for that kind of nonsense I was hungry for the anointing of the Holy Ghost that was on her life she would flow in the gifts of the Spirit she'd prophesy to people the power of God would fall God would give would reveal supernatural things to her so there were several of us 
who became her, her little band of disciples and she would spend time mentoring us teaching us how to pray teaching us how to pray all night teaching us how to fast teaching us how to seek God are you hearing me so God used that woman of God now she 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 had planted a church in Freeport Bahamas and she's about to establish another church I won't say too much about that I'll let her do that but listen God had used that woman of God mightily in my life he had used my mom and dad as well my mom was a preacher of the gospel she's the priest of fire on my dad was a preacher God used him to encourage me he used my brothers and sisters to encourage me they were the ones praying for me believe in God for me to get saved now I was saved full of the Holy Ghost on fire for God and I was going after God's plan for my life now look notice I didn't say God was speaking to me I was just drawn to that ministry sometimes God speaks by his drawing power you are drawn to something that is the voice of God he may not you may not hear audible voice but that is the work of the Holy Ghost in your life drawing you into God's plan for your life she began to mentor me disciple me the first time I preached it was in a prayer meeting in Emmanuel Baptist Church in High Rock she recognized the call of God on my life she said I can tell I, I could see it on you God have called you to preach she said I'm gonna let you preach next week and I preached for about two hours <laughs> I preached long I mean I was new you know I didn't know much but thank God for Apostle Carolyn Cooper gave me an opportunity to preach in that Bible study and then as I began to improve then my pastor would allow me to preach inside our church that was a big deal for me are you listening to me my pastor believe in me my mentor apostle carolyn believe in me my mom and dad believe in me of course there were people who fight you and question the call of god on your life but i'm i'm made for a good fight bring it on we'll prove all of the devils wrong amen so so god use apostle carolyn at Cooper at that stage in my life her husband Bishop Cliff he was not saved at that time <laughs> thank God he saved up he wasn't saved at that time but he was a good man because he allowed me to eat up their time I would come over by the house and sit and talk with Apostle Carolyn for hours she'd be there teaching me the Bible I know Bishop Cliff got tired of me sometimes but he allowed me to he allowed his wife to disciple me and mentor me so hats off to you Bishop Cliff I love you brother I owe you something <laughs> so th this was another phase in my life where God was using Apostle Carolyn Cooper in my life to mentor me teach me the things of God my pastor was my covering he would talk to me about the things of God as well he would continue to prophesy to me about the things of God and continue to share things with me that God was revealing to him about my life he would tell it to my mom and dad what God had showed him about my life so what I'm saying is in this part here you got to realize when God have a plan for your life God will begin to work out all of those details I was Apostle Carolyn Cooper's I'm a bearer for about two years and that's where I learned to fast that's where I learned to pray that's where I learned to seek God all night and pray until I get answers that's where I learned to meditate in the Word of God are you listening to me and I will go a little further I probably jump into how God opened the door for me to go to Bible school on tomorrow but I hope my personal testimony I hope it is helping you and these things didn't just happen overnight this was a period of two years she was discipling me and pouring into my life are you hearing me you got to be patient it's not an overnight deal don't look for a quick fix look for yourself to get established in God's plans and purpose for your life oh Lord my God when I an awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made 
I see the stars I hear the rolling thunder Your power throughout The universe display Come on, sing it this morning Then sings my soul My Savior God to thee How great, how great thou art How great thou art My God then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great, how great thou art, my God. How great thou art. Then sings my soul. Father, everyone that's tuning in, that's under the sound of my voice, I pray that you would help them to become established, help them to discover, give them discernment, give them understanding on your plan for their life. Surround them with the right people to mentor them, to disciple them, to speak into their life, to take them deeper, into the things of God. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity to support the work of the gospel, the work of the ministry in the kingdom of God. To do so, you can visit us online right now. seanpinder.net forward slash give. seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the Ministry Cash App account. That address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love all of you. We appreciate you so much. We don't take you for granted at all. Remember to join us on tomorrow as I go a little deeper in sharing my personal testimony concerning God's plan. I love every last one of you. Me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.